so here's one thing I realize that uh, I haven't really explored. And that's all of these um, schematics that we've been picking up. So we're using the green crossbow at the moment. How much does this... See, this is doable. We could make an even higher quality crossbow. We have all the things we need. We just need a couple more nails. Let's get those nails going. Um, feels like we should probably start making some of these hyperspheres as well. I don't like that they use cement. Not that cement's a big issue. We can make a lot of cement now. I think just for now, let's make a few more of these and just get the ball rolling. Ah, we can make the mega grappling gun. Have been meaning to do that as well. We've got a few things going up here. Alright, let's see how much better this one is compared to the one that uh, we're using currently. Mega grappling gun is good as well. Okay, so that's just about the uh, max distance of our current grappling gun. Ooh. It's at least maybe 30% longer, I would guess. Else, these, this stuff gets made so freaking quickly. The crossbow's made as well. So it's gone from 364 attack to 406. Hey, I, I'm not going to say no to that. Four, plus 40, probably seem, plus 40 seemed a little bit better going from uh, grey quality or white quality to green. But yeah, that, that, that's a good upgrade. But until we get to the age of uh, guns and ammunition, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, let's look at these hats. <laughs> Uh, okay, so cloth is the common thing that we're missing from most of these. Oh, that, that reminds me as well, I did go and check the server settings. And I did think that if there are, if there are 20 base levels, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't go up to 20 pals. And I have made that adjustment. So that has freed up a couple more slots for us. So, uh, since, uh, wool seems to have been a little bit of an issue for us. There you go. You just make a buttload of wool for us, Mr. Sheep. Alright, so for that reason, we probably have to put... <laughs> the arrows are made as well. Um, oh, now we don't have enough beds either. Um, we're going to have to put the hats on hold. Although we can make a farming hat. A hat for working in the fields. It protects from the bright rays of the sun. We can make a gamos cap. Well, I mean, this one seems to be the, the very easiest to make, so I think let's just make it and see how this works. Um, I assume it replaces my metal helm, which sounds like it would be a downgrade. But we'll see. Oh, as soon as Anubis got here, that thing just rocketed to uh, completion. It does indeed, and it's much worse than the metal helm. I guess if you really do just want to have some, some style. Oh, heat resistant level one. I understand. Okay. So that could be something you wear if you're going to a really hot area. Makes sense. I feel like I need to make a box for, uh, maybe for this kind of clothing stuff. Stuff that's specific for temperatures. What? Who is making this? Who just made that? That, that was super fast. I'm guessing Anubis is above us. Um, so things like these that help us with temperatures, maybe we keep those in this boss. <laughs> this boss, this box. Other than that, I don't think we can make any of these other ones. So might as well put them back. Our huge eggs uh, coming along would be nice to uh, make them a little... You know what, let's just try and see what happens if we put a second uh, campfire here. I doubt... It will increase the, uh... It actually worked. They're up to 100%. Okay. As for the extra beds we need, we are just, uh... We're stuck with not enough cloth. That's gonna take a while. So I think we just put that aside for now. I think it's fair to say that Bronze Cherry Aqua has not been the greatest. We can take Bronze Cherry out. You know, this would actually be kind of interesting if we used Elizabeth uh, while fighting together. Stats will increase the more bee guarder in your team. We could technically have a team of uh, Elizabeth and then just all of the bee guards. It'd be funny, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to worry about that. 
I saw some interesting stuff with Mossander that I would like to experiment with. So, oh, what did I just do? Oh, I chucked him down here. Question is, do I have a Mossander saddle here somewhere? There it is. So when riding uh, Mossander, or it's like a, a PAL skill, it brings out these uh, <laughs> rocket launchers and it looked pretty cool. And it looks like we can make it. I don't know if we want to invest all those stats into it, but I think it'll be fun. <laughs> Ultra sphere, so we're going even higher with the spheres. Oh my god, so there's a, there's an even higher level of these assembly things. Oh, we're really going into the technology stuff now. Rifles, large pal bed. I know we've got a mission to do something with this, so I'm going to grab that. I'm just going to chill for now. I'm not going to use all my points on stuff that uh, we're not quite ready for yet. Single shot sphere launcher can capture distant pals. Hmm. I don't know if I really care about that too much. I'm, I'm, I'm always quite happy to go up and get, get my hands dirty. We just got the uh, improved grappling gun, but here's a even stronger one. Let's just make a couple of these hyperspheres with the cement that we do have, and we'll see. We'll see, maybe something's gonna happen and, and they'll come in handy. You know what, stuff it. Let, let's make this. Let's make the Mossander saddle or the, you know, pal item. Check the other base while that stuff is cooking. Lots of things to pick up here. Interestingly, Pelsifier has level 3 transporting and nothing else. And I have one with Workaholic. I feel like that is what this base need. Oh, okay, never mind. Everything just got picked up. <laughs> Maybe that's not the case. I think we'll save this spot for an electric pal. In fact, let's just put one on right now so that we don't forget. If for nothing else, I'd like to get some lighting going on, so there you go, Univolt. Uh, this place also needs beds. Mm. We won't stress about it quite, quite yet. Why are you golden? Okay, so one thing that I wanted to do, uh, I'm not sure if the timer's up yet, I think it will. I'm gonna go and try and catch another war sect. I'm really keen to use one. Uh, hello? What are you guys doing here? I am so confused. Are they the only ones? Why were they just randomly in our base? So confused. Um, anyway, like I was saying, uh, I'd like to go get another war sect. I want to use them. Black Marketeer. What are you randomly doing here? Oh, he has one. A uh, hard skin and heated body. 15,000 though, that's a lot, considering we can catch these whenever we want. Tempting, but I think we'll just go and uh, save some money and, and catch one. I, I want to fight one of these uh, marketeers as well at some point. They give a lot of, uh, a lot of funding. Alright, let's do this. As, as long as the uh, timer is on our side. Wow, it's a... Uh... <laughs> Surfants are on the land. Okay, okay. Is this guy coming for us? Seems he is. Actually, this um, crossbow, actually, it really does feel stronger. Oh, I don't think I ever went and picked up those uh, more advanced balls, or, or the more advanced spheres. That's all right, though. I mean, do we just quickly catch these now? It's... No better time than when they're just all sitting here asleep. How that didn't crit, I don't know. Then again, I probably don't want to use all my spheres before we go and uh, challenge Warsect. Just in case we run out. Yeah, I saw the Hells of Fear. I'm gonna resist the temptation. There's another tower, interestingly. I have had my eye open. Yeah, we need another half an hour. That's okay. If that is the case, um, let's grab that uh, green glow over there. Which, interestingly enough, is in an area that we've already explored. So that really just shows even more um, how easy it is to miss this stuff. They're everywhere. 
And it's turned on me. Oh damn, I guess I'll have to catch it. Let's see what kind of stats it has. Uh, earthquake resistant. Um, not setting my, my world on fire. Oh damn, I'll have to go get this pal sphere under here. Hope nothing attacks us while we're here. Oh, we're under attack. Jeez, we're getting lucky with the catch rates. Uh, capacitor work slave dainty eater. Really want speed on these guys. That is the thing we really want, and I have not been able to find one yet. I feel like at, at this rate, that in the time it takes us to get a really good uh, Hells of Fear with the right skills, we'll, we'll end up finding something that's faster than it. Heard something. Oh, there's another one in the wall. Will it come out or is it stuck there forever? I can hurt it. Don't think I can... Oh, I can hit its weak spot. Oh, well, it can still attack me. Because it goes both ways. I have to leave this one. The one that got away. Surely something stuck in a wall like this is going to have good stats, though. Every now and then I get a little chip on it. <laughs> this is... <laughs> um... Hmm. So it could hit me with this, and I can... Oh, okay, okay, that was... It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> Alright, well... Who couldn't see that coming? Uh, let's go up here and get this final one that we... Uh, never ended up getting. The uh, fast travel point. Repal Alliance is up to no good, as per usual. I always hate fighting in this spot. Ooh. This is what I could do. Oh, I didn't pick up his item. I'm such an idiot. Alright, let's just get this battle out of the way. Uh, who they got trapped in here? Oh, this is one of the ones I don't have many of. I'll gladly for you. I think it's a Nox, is it? As Incinerum just demolishes their entire force. You are such a beast, Incinerum. See something fighting down here. Hundreds of damage going on. Ah, it's nothing I care too much about. Just the usual clowns. Right, so I certainly remember this area. You know what? One thing I did realize is that those ancient, um, not holding any right now, but the ancient civilization technology, I think that's what it's called. You get those every time you, you kill these alpha guys. So what we really should be doing is killing these alphas whenever we uh, have a chance to. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. Uh, you are actually weak to ice, I believe. Get him thinking. And we might as well catch it, I guess. That's what I like to see. 31. One more hit can do it. There we go. This is as good as it's going to get. It's only on 15 health. Wish there was a way to get uh, the old uh, Pal Sphere headshots and back shots. I don't know why. I, I never seem to be able to do them. You know what? I haven't done a cave in ages. If this is a high level cave, I'll take a peek. But we'll, we'll speed through it. I don't want to uh, spend too much time getting distracted. 29, I mean, yeah. I, I think that's probably as high as it gets for us so far. So we have B guards. We've got enough B guards for now at least. I'm not here to catch you guys. So if you um, just let me leave, I would appreciate that. Let's get our biggest offensive threat out. Shame I can't ride him. That'd be pretty fun. He runs pretty quick too at times. Honestly, this is my fastest way of moving around. Leave me alone, you idiots. I'm just here to see what the boss is at the end and have a look at the little chests. 
Apparently the chests can be quite good, quite profitable. What do we have? Cinemoth? Uh, no thank you. Bristler. Let's try one more time. Uh, Whitman. Uh, Catrus, whatever. I, I, I've run back and forth enough. Back and forth enough. Hopefully we don't kill it super quickly. Ooh. Actually dodged our attack. We're getting really lucky with the applying the burns on this thing. Okay, it's at 38 health. This is a good time. It is on fire too, so it was a chance we might not catch that. That is only our sixth Catrus. Alright, what goodies are we gonna have? Any legendary schematics? Ice skill fruit ice missile. And grass skill fruit seed mop. Okay. Okay, I hadn't noticed it before, but there's actually coal here. Maybe it was there, maybe it wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit. I'm not gonna fill myself up totally. Uh, but we don't have a sustainable way to get this at the moment, so I figure when we see it, we might as well grab a little bit. I, I should probably be doing the same with sulfur. We're getting, okay, look, I'm, I'm pretty full after that, but, uh, oh well. Okay, so this is the land bridge that we didn't end up going across. A few things on the side over there. It sounds like something's trying to fight us. Oh no, Helsifir is... Hang on a sec. Are we back to the, uh, Hells of Fear attacking everything arc? Uh, well, I can't ignore this stuff after I see it. Normal sized egg, no thank you. Lift monk effigy, check out this egg. Oh, hang on. Uh, normal sized egg. What is... is this something? Oh, it's just part of the wall up top. I was thinking we might have found, uh... Some kind of secret ent uh, some kind of secret entrance is not the case, unfortunately. All right, this should be making our map look a little bit nicer. And also, we have this now. Was that always there? Well, I suppose we might as well go connect that one as well. And then maybe when we get to that one, we'll come back and see if uh, War Sect is ready. I have a feeling it will. Uh, it will be. And for some reason, my it's just it feels like there's certain areas um, around the map, and my computer just hates being there. I'm guessing it's just new spots where it's loading in a bunch of new things, and just uh, grinds to a halt. I notice. I think we've only got one Robin Quill. I only saw what. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. No, well, whatever we have, it's going to stay like that. <laughs> All right, we uh, oh, just gave the game a little restart arena um, because I continually was having issues with or, you know you know what I mean like it was starting to lag and I know when my when it, the game starts lagging it it cuts out my uh, my commentary. Do I swing? Nah, I should head back this way. We can explore that direction another day. I see some sulfur over there. We do not have... Well, there's actually a couple of sulfurs. We don't have the weight capacity to deal with it. And I, I think... I, I think uh, from now on, whenever I get a level up, I'm probably just going to invest it into weight. We have enough health now to... Um, I don't know. It, it feels like if I ever die, it's because I've made a big mistake. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Elizabeth boss. Okay, or alpha. So apparently it's right ahead of us, but I ain't seeing it. I know these guys are gonna get in our way, so we might as well make a, an executive decision. Take them out before they can cause too much problems. These Gale Claws, they love to be, uh, they love to pester us. So where is this Elizabeth? Don't tell me it's underground or something. The Broncherry Aqua was. 
and have stumbled on that one purely accidentally. Just gonna have to examine the sides down here, I think. What I can say is it's getting dark quickly. It's gonna make it very difficult to uh, find what we're looking for. Uh, well, something's down here. Is that a cave entrance? It certainly looks like it. Devout's mine shaft. I think we've found what we're looking for. Getting closer to that tower as well. Oh, what am I climbing over? <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, I know you're going to be down here somewhere. And there it is. Oh, it's got B guards with it as well. I don't think we mess around here. I think there's three of them. If not three, there's at least two. Oh, that's some good damage. Cinerum's taking some punishment. Oh, I'm in trouble. I somehow escaped that first one. Uh, oh, Incinerum. Yep. Yeah, let's try Gale Claw. I don't think we ever got to Gale Claw to fight before. There's a lot of fire on the ground. Elizabeth is half dead already. I didn't even see what was going on. Can I ride Gale Claw? I can. <laughs> even though it's fighting, I can still ride it. Look at the old freeze. Doing a great job of uh, hitting its weak spot. Ooh. Get some uh, quick attacks out in Cinerum before you get too low. Oh, that still hit me. Alright. It's on 70 health. This is about as good as it's going to get, I think. Still no headshots. Yeah. 23 spheres, which is plenty. It's still, it's getting some hits yeah. off on me. Um, my health is now below half, so I've got to be careful here. Mm. It's getting hit off maybe every, oh, that's the one that's hard to dodge. That comes very mm. quickly. We've got it. Took a lot of spheres. First boss kill. Level up. Ancient technology point. Looking good. But it's fully night time now, which is um, good for finding with monk effigies, but not so good at finding anything else. We were going to go up there. And I don't see a reason not to finish that off. More sulfur. Another... Elzevir. Oh no. Looks like it's aggressive. What are we going to do? Here we've got it. Let's look at that abilities. It's conceded, so nothing special again. That was our 10th. Uh, so as much as it pains me, I think that is our last time that we uh, get super greedy. That's some kind of encampment over there. Oh, okay, I thought, well, for some reason I saw the lights, I thought, hey, this is going to be some friendly people, but, uh, as it turns out, it wasn't. Are these guys fighting each other? Or are they doing accidental friendly fire? I think that's more likely. Here we go. Nice little chest down here as well. 739 gold. I don't actually look at how much money I'm getting out of these uh, these days. I probably should. Be a better idea. Okay, so we did end up coming uh, to the top half here, but we want to go up there. As is nearly always the case, you can spot a lift monk effigy along the way. More flat ground. 
could be a potential starter base, but looks like it's mostly just stone, nothing, nothing valuable. There is our fast travel point unlocked. Look how close we're getting to the snow. That tower is getting a lot closer too. Looking like this uh, quote unquote continent does end here. So what I'm going to do, let's just trace this out and we'll have a real good idea um, of the shape. More skill tree. Iceberg, lightning streak, shockwave. Dipping across the river so frequently, like this is also giving us a good idea of the uh, outline of the continent next to us, so we'll make that a bit easier to explore as well. Another potential base location. Not for me though. We want to find something with a buttload of coal. Oh, I see some big rocks up there. Swing by and have a look. What do we have here? Is this a hole in the ground? That's interesting. Well, well, well. Have we found something secret? Probably not. It's probably a very uh, normal location. Normal sized egg. I'll say it again, if this was Ark, this would be a nice little base spot. Very secure, very protected. It's not arc. If you're making a base in Power World, you really want it to be open and flat and uh, have some nice resources. I'm not really too sure what the point of that is. I guess you could be really sneaky and hide in there. Either way, we've done the rounds here, so let's head back up to the top and let's uh, fast travel over. Yeah, nothing fancy up here. It's quite a pointed peak. Ah, there we go. I knew there'd be something here. You don't have a pointy peak like this without uh, some sort of treasure right at the point. Going a bit crazy here. There we go. Alright, as per our original mission, let's uh, go and cap that off. Surely it's been half an hour now. Huh? It's still 39 minutes until boss revival. Isn't that what it said last time? I'm a little bit confused. Maybe we should have bought that war sect from the uh, black market guy. Hmm. Alright, well. Looking like that's going to be on hold. Not too sure what's going on there. Maybe I just misread it. You, dear viewer, have the uh, benefit of looking back and you might be able to know the answer. What I want to do is, I want to go back. We left a couple of things at the base. I didn't intentionally leave them. So one of them was this grenade launcher. That was the whole reason we brought Mossander along. Ooh, getting quite low. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of cloth that we have. Ingots is an issue. Heaps of cement. In fact, too much cement, you could argue. I was about to repair my uh, mega shield and I realized we could just make a giga shield. We'll see how much better that is. Okay, so high quality cloth also uses wool. We, we still don't have much wool. Maybe I should solve this in the same way that I normally solve my issues, and that's uh, going to the shop and buying some. Might as well have a look around while we're here. Selling anything we care about? Not really. Suppose I should actually be checking um, what abilities they have. Because the ability could be more valuable than the pal itself. When talking about breeding it onto something else. Okay, they do indeed have wool. I think 100 gold is quite a lot for one piece of wool, but... I'm not in a position to argue. This will hopefully sort out some of our yeah. issues. Ah. There's 41 more wool. While that's going, 
I think the first uh, thing we got to do is make beds at both of our places. But while we're making that wool, let's check out all of these new Anubis or Anubi. A mine foreman and hard skin. Hard skin again. Earth Emperor and Sirius. Earth Emperor Sirius Botanical Barrier. Okay. Earth Emperor, I'm gonna guess, increases uh, Earth damage, which it does do. I think this one's gonna be our fighter. Who's he gonna come in for, though? I wish there was an extra slot. <laughs> Hang on, when did I catch two normal Warsex? I do not remember doing that. This one actually has a little bit more defense, which makes me think maybe its defense is going to be naturally slightly better, but this has an extra skill. Hmm. Let's put that on there. And then this guy probably comes in for Mossander at some point, or maybe we take out Pinking. Pinking's been really good, though. I feel bad about taking him out. We'll take him out for now. I, I really want to see the, uh, the new stuff with Mossander. You guys are still going to town. That's a lot of eggs. I'm actually really surprised I can carry them. And then at some point I have to look at, um, is it worth swapping these guys out? Have we got anything that uh, has an improved amount of abilities and skills that it's worth it? Hey, one hour to do all those. That ain't bad. I have not modified uh, my settings to make them hatch faster. I feel like that's a, just a good part of the game, in my opinion. Do I make large beds? Hmm, not yet, not yet. I think we start replacing those later. Do need some more nails as well. Back and forth, making things. <laughs> Look at how quickly they're getting made. Boom, done. And we're gonna have enough left over to go and fix up the bed situation in the other base as well. I'll leave you guys to that. Beds are a little bit more spacious in this particular one. I think this will this will work out okay. We need 20 electric organs to set up a power generator here, which I think I should do before I forget. I want it to be uh, reasonably accessible. Maybe we put it over here. I don't think the uh, enemies on the outside are going to be able to get to us. And then once that's up we can start putting some lighting in, which of course is going to need more organs. Uh, these guys look a little bit awkward. Oh, Free Pal Alliance extremists are raiding us. This is the perfect time to uh, use Mossander. And get in front of them early enough. Oh, these guys are going to be getting in the way a little bit, I think. Which way are they going? Coming here, okay. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, well, this isn't what I thought was going to happen. Uh, is this it? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Anyone still alive? Oh, yep, yep. Go. <laughs> We're not even done yet. We've got more. Oh, one escaped us. Can we snipe him? <laughs> oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Okay. That was well worth the investment to uh, to make that. And we used about half of the rockets, I think. We could have gone uh, that much as that we fired again over. Am I speaking English? I don't know what I would just say. 